Good morning, everyone. You guys look a little sleepy this morning. It was tough to get up today, wasn't it? Yeah, Father Andrew and I were up. Uh, we came back about 11.30 last night. We drove to Idlewild, pray for our confirmation students. They're on retreat right now. So we heard about 70 confessions, and the kids are having a really good time. So we, we pray for our youth in a very special way. There are two really good movies out in the theater right now that have a Catholic theme. There's a film out uh, based on the uh, story of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And there's an excellent film that just came out this past week called Cabrini. Have you heard about it? Space of the Life of uh, our first American saint, Francis Cabrini. So this past Thursday, I brought my mom and dad to the movie theater. Thursday is my day off. And as we were ready to go to the movies, about an hour before we left, I was in my old bedroom, and I heard the sound of popcorn popping. And I thought that was odd, because we are going to go to the movie theater, right, and buy popcorn there. So I got out, and I went to the kitchen, and I said, Mom, what are you doing? We could buy popcorn at the movie theater. She said, I'm not going to pay those prices. <laughs> Let's be honest, you need a loan nowadays to go anywhere, don't you? I said, I have an AMC gift card. She says, you can keep it. We're not paying for that popcorn there. <laughs> so she pointed to the dining room table. It was the biggest purse I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> so not only did she bag popcorn for me and my dad and herself, but she put bottles of water in there. <laughs> You've done it before yourself. Don't act like you haven't, right? And I said, okay, let's go. We're running a little late. She said, no, okay, we go. We get in the car, and we're getting close to the theater. My dad looks at me and says, there's a 7-Eleven over there. Pull over. <laughs> so we, we get some candy, right? Of course, my mom puts some in the purse, and uh, we get in there, and you know, we're laughing because that's what families have to do nowadays. Things are expensive, very expensive. And about 30 minutes into the film, the power went out. And my mom goes in her purse. She has a flashlight in her purse. So, you know, they had the emergency lights, but it was a little dark. So we get outside, and my dad and I, my mom, we just start laughing. Because my mom is always prepared. Because that was, that's what moms do, do you not? You think of every situation and every scenario, and... My mom had her flashlight, and we were able to get out of the theater safely. The, the, the power went back soon, and we enjoyed the film. Jesus gives us this beautiful image today of the darkness in our lives, the darkness of the world. And who is the light of the world? What's his name? Jesus. And Jesus alone is the light of the world. But we as disciples of Christ have an opportunity every day to be that light to each other, do we not? Because we live in a very troubled world. And it's very easy for us to get caught up in what's not going right. But Jesus is telling us today to be light to one another. To be that light that is so desperately needed. So Jesus is telling all of us this morning to quit being so complacent and to do better. He wants to lead us out of darkness to a better way of living. So he's challenged us during this Lenten season to do better. So how do we do that, my friends? We do that in so many different ways. We do that by showing compassion to those who need it. Jesus did not turn away, turn away the bad word blind. He embraced him and showed him love. So what is Jesus telling us to do? To help those around us who need it. We can't be bystanders. Jesus is telling us to stop being so scrupulous and holier than thou. We're very good at judging people, are we not? Don't act like you don't judge right now, okay? <laughs> We're all guilty of it. The Pharisees of the gospel made everybody miserable around them. Because what did they do all day? They just picked at people's faults, tore people down. We are human. It's so very easy to do that, to villainize people. 
you know. I'm, I'm glad we went to the uh, movies during the State of the Union, because I have one parent who's a Democrat, one who's a Republican, all right? <laughs> it was strategy, get him out of the house. But what do we do? That person, right? What's wrong with them and all that? We get so riled up, instead of trying to find common good in each other. So remember what this gospel is telling us. God is loving and inclusive. He's inviting everybody to be part of his kingdom. None of us have all the answers, do we? None of us are perfect. So Jesus is telling us in the gospel to bring people in, to not exclude them. And finally, we can learn so much from the man born blind because he's telling us and reminding us to never give up hope that one day we will be with Jesus forever in heaven where all of your pain and sorrow will be taken away just like Jesus healed the man born blind. So Jesus is the healer. But we look for satisfaction and pleasure in so many things other than our Lord. So my friends, the choice is ours. We could wake up and do better and help those in need, like Jesus is telling us, and to bring people in instead of excluding them. Or we could go around being Pharisees, making everybody miserable. So if you want to be a Pharisee, talk to me after Mass. I'll send you to another parish, okay? <laughs> Don't make everybody miserable. I want you to live out the Gospel, to bring people in, so that we could truly be the light to one another. I know the good people that you are. I see it on a daily basis. I see that the good that you do. That we all need to make those changes in our life so that we could do even better. So, my friends, where is Jesus asking you to quit being lukewarm? And how could you better be the light of Christ to one another? So I want to think you to think of one person right now that maybe you've lacked compassion towards. Maybe you've been overly judgmental. And how are you going to love that person more beginning today?